Today we're celebrating the 300th episode of Grey's Anatomy. It doesn't seem like it's been that long, but uh, it's a pretty uh, momentous occasion here. We'll have a little cake cutting ceremony this afternoon, some lunch with cast and crew, and, and celebrate a, yeah, a, a milestone. Mm -hmm. I think it's a testimony actually to the, 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 the staying power of the storytelling uh, that the fans over these past 14 seasons have uh, wanted to take this journey with these characters and these storylines and, and follow it through where, from the beginning, back in 05 to where we are now, and uh, uh, to Shonda Rhimes and her brilliant foresight and kind of wanting to change the landscape. Uh, I don't know if that was her, her intention, but she wound up doing that, the, land, the landscape of how we view TV. Uh, in, in, in terms of diversity and, 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 and gender equality. I, I think uh, she's been at the forefront of ushering that, that new kind of that paradigm in terms of how we watch television. It'll be kind of a, a, a look back and, 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 a, and an homage to, to the past and to those our, our, our characters who came through at the beginning and uh, who were such a vital part of making the show what it was. And, and uh, I don't think it would have uh, been, been what it was had it not been for this array of wonderful characters and, and the storylines that were attached to them and the way that they were able to express those and, and, and make it clear and, um, and in a way that uh, propelled us to where we are now. Fans and viewers still want to be told a story. They want to see a beginning, a middle, and an end. They want to take a journey with a character. Uh, we've been able to show these people as uh, they travel the arc of their lives and the navigate how it gets tricky and a little murky. We've seen them uh, when they have been ugly, and we've seen them be heroic. Uh, and but all along they they've they've told a story of, of, of how people deal in circumstances in a high pressured environment such as that of a large metropolitan hospital where life and death hangs in a balance every week. But also it juxtaposes the the lives of these people and they, they kind of almost parallel in a sense. And I think that's been the fascination with these audiences for 14 seasons. They want to see how that plays out. They want to take that journey and see what's on the other side of that. I think that's what's been appealing. And, and it has been for all great shows in the past that have had longevity is the fact that audiences really have um, identified with those stories and those characters, and they, they want to take that ride with them. That's the one thing that I think has been most gratifying for me is I, I can't count how often I would young, run into a young person who said, you know, I've decided to go into medicine because of your show, uh, or, uh, whether it be male or female, and uh, it, it, it seems to happen all the time uh, that they, um, we've become an inspiration for them. And at, the, at the, our, our, at our, our very core, that we're, we're a medical show. We, we, you see these, these people day in and day out applying their trade, which is saving lives and trying to uh, give a better quality of life. And at, at, with that, you see who they are inside, these doctors. And yeah, it's resonated quite quite effectively with a lot of folks over the years, a lot of young people who said, this is the profession I want to go into, and have become doctors doing the run of our show, you know, from when we, you know, our first, second season, and now, you know, they come back and say, I, I'm now practicing, and it was because of your show. So that's been pretty, pretty gratifying.